It's no secret that carpet installers are some of the most scandalous individuals on the planet. So in this video, I'm revealing the top five crimes carpet installers commit against their customers on a regular basis. No particular order here, just revealing and straight snitching on people in the industry. So let's dive right into this here. The first and most common crime committed by carpet installers is not changing the pad. Just walk up on your carpet installer when he finished up your place say, oh hey, did you change the pad in that back bedroom? Watch these fools look at the floor and start stumbling their words as they just try and reach for a slick reply to convince you that they actually changed the pad when they clearly did not. Carpet guys are notorious for that. The next one, and this is actually pretty dope, so you got to give them credit on this one. It's the old beef jerky under the carpet trick. Now, not all customers are going to run into this scenario. Just those of you that have big dogs and they would claw at the carpet to get that jerky under it. So here's what happens. The carpet installer is installing their carpet. They notice you have a big old dog running around the house and they're like, you know what? If I put just a little bit of beef jerky in the middle of the room under the carpet, this dog will claw and claw and claw until they get through the carpet to get to that beef jerky. And then the next day you notice a hole in your carpet and you say, oh my gosh, carpet guy, I need you to come back and do a repair for me. You say, no problem. This is quite common. I can handle that for you for an easy hundred dollars we'll go ahead and get that fixed up and just like that the carpet installer added a hundred dollars to their bottom line by actually setting you up and putting a little chunk of beef jerky under the carpet so your dog would destroy it and they would profit wildly you got to give them credit on that you can't be mad with that one the next one is the old quote-unquote lightweight switcheroo now what's the lightweight switcheroo that is when the carpet installer sells you a product that comes in a good better and best weight you paid for the best weight but they may have delivered the good or the better weight on you there when this happens they take the dollar to three dollars a square yard difference on the mark margin of the carpet and pocket it so on that hundred yard job another three dollars per yard by a hundred yards three hundred dollars gets added to their bottom line oh my goodness that is scandalous and dirty burning your good name for a mere three hundred dollars but it doesn't stop there let's get into the next one and that's the classic sneak and slide a brew from your fridge. Yep, if you got cheap beer in your fridge, believe me, the carpet guy already knows this and they are lining up to steal it. So as they're working hard in your house and you're not looking, they just peel the fridge open, grab a couple of your tall boys, pour it into a Slurpee cup full of ice and they're just smashing on the job site like they're drinking a tall pop straight from the cooler. But really, it is your hard-earned beers they're just sipping away on. So don't ever turn your back on your drink in front of a carpet guy or any medicinal type things as well. You know they'll snatch that up with a quickness. And finally, the last crime that carpet installers commit it's the old change jar debacle. Now, if you are a homeowner and you have a carpet installer about to come into your house and you have change jars floating around, you need to go around with a Sharpie marker and just put a little pin dot on the level that that change jar is filled to. Because please believe when your carpet installer leaves, that change level will be much lower than the dot you placed on the jar. So good little gauge meter there just because it's like scrap metal to a hungry hungry individual if you know what i'm saying there they see those change jars they start licking their chops and the second you turn your back biggity bam the carpet installer has reached their dirty paw right into your change jar and filled up their tool bag with all your loose change now you may not know it's because it's not a big deal to you but boy oh boy they are just so happy with the score they just pulled against you so if you want to protect your change and you just can't hide it from a carpet guy believe me they know how to sniff that stuff out just take a sharpie and just do a little pin dot on each one of your change jars and believe me it will be lower when they leave now this is the first part of this series of crimes committed by carpet installers against their customers if you have any questions or you're ready for more go ahead and comment below and i will do follow-up videos on all the scandalous stuff these individuals will pull in your properties thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video